So I decided to raid my son's Legos. Actually, if you look, they're not Legos, they're Duplos, which is kind of like Legos. And we're gonna talk a little bit about DNA today. Howdy, I'm Andy with Family History Fanatics, and this is an episode of a segment of DNA. So what I have with these Duplo boxes is I wanna be able to show you how DNA gets passed on as you go from grandparents to parents to children. So this is my wife, and this is me. So let's go over what each of these things represent as far as our DNA. Starting with myself, I have one set of chromosomes from my dad. I also have one set of chromosomes from my mom, and those are autosomal chromosomes. They have the same types of genes on them, and so I have two copies of each of those genes. Next, I also have a Y chromosome, one of my sex chromosomes from my dad, and I have an X chromosome from my mom. And then finally, I have mitochondrial DNA from my mom. So you can see the red here is all that I inherited from my mom, and the green is what I inherited from my dad. Now if we go over to my wife, this is what she looks like. It's just a little bit different. She has a set of chromosomes from her dad, a set of chromosomes from her mom. She has two X's, because you notice these are the exact same. One from her mom, one from her dad. And she has the mitochondrial DNA from her mom. So the yellow is from her mom and the blue is from her dad. So what happens then as we pass on our genes to our children? Well, it's interesting because this represents two generations really. We have a copy of each of these chromosomes from our parents. So this would be my children's grandparents. And then this is what we look like. So we start to get a little bit colorful and now we're gonna see what our children look like and they get a little bit more colorful. Now to understand that, we need to understand something called recombination. Now recombination is how our DNA is passed on in our sex chromosomes. It looks sort of like this. We start with two copies of our chromosomes and then those two copies divide and form another set of copies and that cell divides. And so you have two sets of cells that each have a copy of both sets of chromosomes. And then something really interesting happens. In each cell, the two sets of chromosomes recombine. And what that means is they swap locations at different points. And that may happen one or two times. We'll just do this a couple times here so that you can see now each set of these chromosomes is actually a combination of both sets of the parent chromosomes. What happens then is the cell actually divides, but it doesn't duplicate the chromosomes again. So each cell has one set of chromosomes and that's how you get one set from your mom and one set from your dad. So let's build what I will look like. So this is going to, or I'm sorry, let's build what my children will look like. So this is going to be them. Now what we know first off is we know that they get all of their mitochondrial DNA from their mom. Their mom's mitochondrial DNA is this yellow block. And so we'll put that there. That's the first thing. Next, we know that they get one set of chromosomes from their mom. And you can see this has already been recombined, so it actually has little bits of each one of their grandparents all there. And they also get one set of chromosomes from their dad, from me. It also has been recombined, so they, they have a little bit of both of their grandparents. Then they each are going to get one X chromosome from their mom. And that's also recombined, just like the autosomal DNA. Now the last part, it depends on whether they're a male or a female. If they are a female, they will get a copy of my X chromosome. And you'll notice that is the exact copy of it. It's not a combination of red and green because my X chromosome is all red. I inherited that from my mom. And so all of my daughters, they have an exact copy of that X chromosome from me. Now, if they're boys, they're going to get the exact copy of the Y chromosome that I have. Again, this is, does not recombine because we only have one of them. 
So boys are going to get an exact copy of the Y chromosome and girls are going to get an exact copy of the red chromosome. And so you can see as you start to compare these, here's the parents, which is an amalgamation of the grandparents. And here now is the grandchild or my children. You can start to see how colorful it is and how that DNA is starting to get separated out into smaller and smaller segments. And so once you understand that as far as recombination, you can start to see how this DNA can tell us a little bit about not just your parents, but your grandparents, your great grandparents, and on for about five or six generations. I'm Andy Lee with Family History Fanatics. If you have any questions about recombination, put them in the comments below and I'll answer them for you. Be sure to check out our website, www.familyhistoryfanatics.com so that you can find out about upcoming e-conferences that we're going to be a part of. Connect with us on Twitter, at FH Fanatics, or on Facebook, Family History Fanatics, where we can interact with you and respond to your comments.